and what is appertaining crazy creators and in this episode guys we're going to be teaching you how to use the brush tool and not only just the brush tool but it's components as well I like to call them which are the shape tools that come next to it in other words instead of just having a free hand brush you get things that give you squares and circles which is very important for us when we're doing our keyboard and mouse art because unlike having a fancy pen we can do all these swirls and curves and lines we'll be doing it all using mathematics so these shapes uh, mimicking or manipulating these shapes should i say as well as mimicking i suppose um all these shapes is very vital to us so um stay tuned to the end of this tutorial and if you come from somewhere else get back to that as quick as possible and uh, hope you're all enjoying yourselves guys I'll catch you soon <laughs> What is appertaining, crazy creators, in this episode we're going to be teaching you all about the brush. Now our freehand brush that is, now I'm going to do this before anything else, it is the B on the keyboard. <laughs> the B on the keyboard for the freehand brush. And it's right over here, and this is like your main brush. Um, I also stole them in, um, oh, actually I say so stolen in Jiminy, like I'm stolen in Jiminy. But it's connected to what you store in Jiminy is why I should say. Um, and I'm just going to click this um, basic five size brush um, but generally when you click this what you're, what you're seeing is your free hand oh let me go on there sorry um, your free hand there like this see um, you know just uh, you know you're drawing circles Hello. yes I'm drawing with a mouse and this will be the day I can't do circles this is how I draw circles keyboard and mouse out ready boom with the ellipse which we're going to do next <laughs> let's just go back to the free hand um, I wanted to quickly show you the difference in the free hand is like this I right? um, and I, I use freehand in short amounts. Um, I, I love using freehand. I like, I like the control and you know the skill and constantly undoing. Uh, I do enjoy it a little bit. I do enjoy it. I really do. Um, it, it can get annoying. It's like it's like a little form of suffering, but I've learned to enjoy my suffering for my life, so it, it, it can be enjoyable. But that's generally it, guys. You just you your freehand mouse, just uh, hold the left click it. Clicker to draw. Um, let me just uh, clear all this. In fact, let me just delete this and affect the layer. Um, delete that off and add a layer. And honestly, I, I can show you. This. Now, the mouse itself. Let me just uh, default sorry. The the, um, the brush itself. Um, when you you can then once you've got the brush selected in your tools, your freehand drum, brush, you can then pick whatever you want to use for that. And for example, um, if I use uh, this pattern. Yeah, and then you know different patterns, um, even uh, stars, and that's what the freehand brush does to draw around. Now, let's go into the, some of the tool options because this is where I like, especially for like myself doing keyboard and mouse art. Now, this is something brand new I've learned again, just very recently, and now I'm thinking, oh my lord, I did all that work about this. But in here, look, um, you got brush moving. Um, you've I like the stabilizer. Now you got basic weighted and and, and stabilizer. Now I'm not sure if these are designed for mouse because I don't see much of a difference. Maybe they have something to do with the pen. I'm not sure. But the stabilizer one is pretty good, especially for a mouse. Now let me just turn it to um, and watch what it does. When I draw, it sort of like comes behind me, and it. it it's, it's, quite, it's quite good. It's not perfect for doing circles, but like if I spent a little bit more time, I could probably get a nice little. <laughs> you 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 get what I'm saying. Um, I forget to do your circle practices, guys. I'm I'm at this level now. I just, <sighs> that's roughly okay. That's so awesome. I'm a keyboard now. I'm a beginner. I right, try. <laughs> and, and that's it. So uh, what I'm going to say is, I'm going to do a lot more work with the stabilizer. Um, and as for the its actual options, I don't know much about them. I'll probably test them just and let you know as I go along. Um, snapping to assistance, we do more with assistance later, but I very rarely use them, although they are pretty cool. Um, but that is that's pretty much it. Um, I'll go back to that. I'm actually going to stick with stabilizer, something like that. Um, and then. 
and that is the freehand tool i think guys um i believe i've covered everything if not i'll catch you in the videos anyway right but if you come back here that's generally how to use the freehand brush uh next we'll just go on to the shapes like i said yes <laughs> All right, and guys, moving on in from the free hand brush, we have a few tools to oh. shape some lines. Um, we'll just cover a couple of them now. Um, just on this uh, left hand side, you've got a line tool, rectangle tool, and eclipse tool. And all they are, like the free hand brush, is they, they use the different um, style brushes. Um, where, like, for example, if you've got stars, and you hold the left click and drag the line to the length you want it and the direction you want it, it will leave stars and i don't know if you notice then if i if i don't take my finger off it it'll give me a preview of what it's going to be like which is pretty useful um and different styles do different lines there and of course you can choose colors and stuff like that um and something i didn't mention before which i should have just finished it this, but i'll just mention it here is the size the size of the freehand matters and so does the opacity. So when the opacity that makes it see through or not. Um, lower the opacity, the more see through it becomes. And the higher the opacity. Yeah, I think you've got a general idea there of it. And that is the exact same, guys, for the freehand tool. Okay, if I change, I change the color um, to a blue. You say with the freehand tool, if I change my size in or the opacity, you get different shapes and shapes. Okay. Um, finally, then, guys, if I um, just get off that and uh, show you, it's it's the exact same then with the squares and the circles. Now, if I hold a square, drag a square, it's going to come out square like so. Um, if I, um, sorry, this is more squares, should I say, <laughs> actually, the last one was more rectangle, wasn't it? <laughs> a rectangle like this. Okay, and then you can do things like fill in these, and, um, I mean, they're great for all sorts of things, and we will be using them. I will be doing lots of art using shapes and stuff to get you guys used to the using shapes. You see, using them to make and um, manipulate the shapes you actually want. And a lot more. Uh, to start with, there'd be kiddish shaped critters just to get you generally moving things and seeing the way I do things. All right. Um, and then the uh, same with the eclipse, then, is the exact same thing. Let's do uh, a little bit of different colors for pink for a moment. And you see there, you can hold the left click and drag to however you want it, and then drop. Now, lots of things that we do, I'll just cover this one last thing. Um, before we completely go, and that is we do shapes on different layers so we can stretch on things, which I'll show you just briefly in a moment. <laughs> So guys, we have mentioned the freehand tool, um, changing opacity and size and, and the tools that accompany it. You have the line tool, the rectangle tool, and the eclipse tool. And none of these got keyboard um, shortcuts on them. Um, and what I did mention quickly was how normally I would do shapes on different layers. So if I was to do a rectangle here, I might add a layer and do a circle completely different, a different layer. And why I do that is if I go back to layer eight and then go to my transform, I can always change the shape of my my actual square. And same goes for my cell. Yeah, and that's why I like to do that. So you'll find we use lots of shapes and shades, but Hello. most of our work isn't done in layers. So we can make sure everything is calculated and put in the right place so we can move things and alter things all the time. And that's generally the it on the shapes, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, 
when you come back here and learn about this stuff, I know it's very basic, but we do learn a lot as we go along. So progress through the videos. Take a look at a few of them, um, even the ones that you're not particularly interested in right now. You may learn little things. And if, don't forget, guys, these are tutorial projects. So we're always learning as we're creating. Peace, everyone. Now one thing guys, when working with like these um, rectangular tools and ellipse tools, and it'll be the same for the, um, I think polyline may be, but definitely for the polygon tool, because they're filling tools, is, and um, I'll do this example with the polygon tool quickly, so you can have this in with this tutorial, and that is, um, if you look, the polygon tool is, you, you, you do a bunch of um, left clicks to make the shape you want to make, yeah? And you come back to start, or if you double click wherever you are, it'll automatically zoom a line to here. So if you come to that, start to click there, it ends the shape. And there you can make any shape that you really want. Now with these two shapes up here and this one, you have down here two options. So I just left myself here. And you've got things like not filled or the pattern. So if I do a shape, it will fill it with the pattern that's in pattern. Okay, it'll also do the outline with a brush, or you can have no outline. So if I did a shape again, no, I just get the pattern, no outline on it. And, and, and same with the outline, you can have no outline or the brush outline of whatever color you've got. Um, and we'll go for a yellow, say, okay, a yellow. Now, as we draw this shape, it should, see, it's filled with the pattern, the pattern we have up here. It, this is now filled with the pattern, and it has the foreground color of, uh, oh, sorry, the, the outline color of our uh, one, the yellow that we chose, <laughs> um, and yeah, again, and this, this just use a little bit of a different color and slightly different um, pattern. Yeah, like that rock there. And then just, you know, this, I'll, I'll just draw for that one. And, and they, there you go, you have a, you'd have a different sort of pattern. And you do that with the options and tools. So that's uh, another useful one to know. And again, you should be able to do the same sort of thing with circles. If we do pattern again, and just change our pattern very slightly again now to, oh, this will go more the mosaic -y or hexagon -y type pattern. And let's go for a red color. And there we go. Let's have a look at one more. Um, go for a, an, a uh, green, is it? And then we'll, there you go. And and, and, and that's using the tools as well, guys, with uh, these shapes and filling. Hello. What's happening, crazy creators? And that is it for the show, I'm afraid. I hope you've had a good time. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please, guys, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's all wonderful news. But if you can just spread the word, let everybody know. I, I, I need it. I need lots and lots of viewers so I can progress my art and get more involved and get more stuff done. There's so much we want to do and with your help, we can do it. So if you can just share with everybody, that'd be great. Um, just try and watch every show as best as you can. That all helps us. It helps us get our show out there, helps people um, find the show and can help people find themselves. So um, please do that if you can. Um, in the meantime, as you can see, oh, we have um, links and codes coming up on the screen um check out all the those um help out whoever you can help out but guys we got other things coming in the future and how you can help just with your art alone so just if you can't do anything just stick with the art at least that'd be great and uh, just like I said, spread it thank you guys peace